You heard it. It's going to be cold, very cold because of the frigid temperatures. Governor Roy Cooper took action and signed a state of emergency earlier this week. WFNY News 2's Amber Lake shows us how folks are preparing ahead of the temperature drop. So every state of emergency is different when declared operation plans are activated. Since the declaration, travelers I talked to tell me that they're getting to where they need to be ahead of those cold temps tomorrow. Days before Christmas. We're heading back to New Bern. Families are traveling. We are traveling from Troutman, North Carolina to Farmville, North Carolina. Ahead of an oncoming Arctic air mass. It's been really nasty. There's been a lot of uh, several accidents. And I was glad that we were leaving today to try and get back before everything gets worse. Headed back to eastern North Carolina, Chris Barnes and his family wanted to get on the road early to beat any traffic and take their time. Most people have actually been driving either under the speed limit or right at the speed limit. Um, not many I've seen that were pushing it too far, especially in the heavy rain. Guilford County Emergency Services says the state of emergency doesn't necessarily impact them in this particular declaration. A lot of times it will give us the resources and the ability to um, pull in the associated folks that we need. It sort of gives us a, an opportunity to speak to the public and get them ready for a situation that we can kind of see coming. With this state of emergency, transportation regulations have been waived to help transport fuel and critical supplies, among other things. Where it helps is that our drivers that are spending um, an excessive amount of time on the road making sure deliveries are made, and particularly on our wholesale department, um, we're able to take care of, of customers through extended hours um, without jeopardizing um, you know, the regulations behind their licenses. Not only will it be cold, the wind will pick up. That means down trees are possible. This is something NCDOT says they're keeping an eye out for. That's going to be the main issue I see is just trees down, maybe have some power outages, but mostly trees. Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.